Hi folks, welcome back. And we're still building this van, of course we are. And as the thumbnail does rightly say, what am I doing? I am having a moment of, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, if I'm very honest with you. Um, and I like to be honest, I wanna keep it real with you guys. I've got thousands of followers now who've been here for a long time and I wanna be honest with you. I don't wanna be all fake and singing and dancing when I'm not feeling that way. I quite honestly, I'm at a loss at the moment. And uh, let me take you for a little walk around and I'll show you what I mean. Now, first of all, doesn't help very much today. Uh, we've got no electricity down our street. So I've got one more spare battery for this camera. So there's no time lapses or anything like that gonna happen today because uh, that eats the battery. So I need these to last. Apparently the power's off all day. So I've got no extra cups of tea. My phone might run out of power which plugs into my stereo, which is battery operated, but I've only got a handful of batteries for that stereo and also my power tools. So once they're gone, they're gone. So we're contending with that. Um, plus, I'm waiting on a couple of things to happen. It's become apparent to me now, I'm almost at the stage to start building what will be the bathroom area. But I've realized I want the flooring down before I do that because of the way I'm going to construct this, which you'll find out when we get to that stage. I need the flooring down first. I can't put the flooring down until I get this piece of wood put in here, which I've already cut and it's ready. But I can't do that until that seat is lowered, which James will hopefully be doing at the start of next week for me. Once that's done, that will, those uh, seat bases will want spraying up again because of the welding, let me show you. You can see the welding he's done on that one down here. So they're going to want a bit of a sand back and a spray to protect them. Then I can put that wood in, then I can lay this floor in the front of the van. Because once that's done, I can then start to build my shower cubicle on top of there. As you can see, I've done a lovely job the other day. I was out here till late, all hours, getting this all insulated and I've been putting the silver tape to use a bit cause a bit of a vapor barrier as well I do not want to get into a vapor barrier discussion with anyone but please if you want to drop it in the comments below and give me your opinions let me know I was always an avid follower of Greg Virgo and he is a man who really knows his stuff and I agree with what he says and I understand the way he says it go and have a look at his videos if uh, you want to know more it makes sense his argument to have a vapor barrier makes sense. But then so many other people who say against the vapor barrier can make some sense as well. I am running out of money, time and energy. So I am not gonna do a traditional full style vapor barrier. Another reason is if I did a perfect vapor barrier in the back of the van here, what about areas like this at the front? behind like the B pillar. Am I going to vapor barrier all that? What about up in there? It won't be vapor barriered. Behind, behind the doors here, behind the console, there's no vapor barrier there and there never will be. So it kind of defeats the purpose to me a little bit if you're not vapor barrying the entire thing. Vapor barriering, vapor barriering the entire thing. There you go. So I'm kind of half vapor barrier and half I can't say that word. I'm kind of half vapor barriering without worrying too much about it being perfect. Because you've got other things like here where the wires come through. You know, there's going to be holes. I've had to make a hole there. And the moisture can get through there. Once it's in there, it gets trapped there. I mean, it can trickle down the walls and uh, there is the drainage at the bottom so it can come out of there. Sorry, you're gonna have to put with a bit of waffling here. I've got a lot to get off my brain and you guys are gonna get it. Um, so yeah, the way I feel about it now is I'm making a bit of an effort here. I am putting the silver foil. This Kingspan type stuff makes its own vapor barrier. If I foil up here and I foil it around to the roof where I've been putting it, then it is actually a vapor barrier. So there we go, but it won't be, I won't be intensively trying to seal it like airtight everywhere. I'm not going to break my back doing that. Like I say, time, money, energy, running out of all of them. So I then have the side of the van where John's been doing his insulation, a lovely job he's made of it, but that also now needs the silver tape on. So that's something I'm probably going to tinker on with today. 
And going along with I don't know what I'm doing as the theme of the video, I don't really know what I'm doing for the video today because it's now Thursday, video coming out Saturday. I haven't got any major projects lined up. Normally with my videos, I like to make a big video about fitting the skylight, fitting the fan, doing the chairs, fitting a floor, you know? This one's gonna be a little bit wishy-washy, bits of this, bits of that. I also might run out of power and I've got no way to charge my batteries, so it'll just end. <laughs> so I'm hoping this will come out on the Saturday. Um, so yeah, I think to start the ball rolling, I am gonna start taping up all on John's side here. Um, I've also got, let me show you, I also, did this back door as you can see it's got the shredded bottles in areas like that it's got kingspan wherever i can fit kingspan as you know it's all old sections i had left over from work so it's just bitty bits i couldn't cut one huge piece it's sealed up i will do the tape thing there that will eventually just have a sheet of ply i like the idea of cutting into this and having cubby holes don't have the time that can happen in the future the other side is not done yet so that's another project for me to get on with today <clears throat> and then I really think I'm going to start battening. I am going to start running roofing battens along here, along there, along there. But again, I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing for the battening. I've decided how I'm going to do it because there's different ways of doing it and I know what I'm going to go with. But I've also got to support a bed at a high level up here. And I've seen a couple of different ways of doing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're still with me, well done. I've seen a couple of different ways of doing it, and I'm gonna go with one that I think will work, which will be really sturdy pieces of ply fixed into the body of the van here, sticking up there where I'll have my brackets. And I've bought some of these from Ikea, which anyone who's into van building will know. These are what we use for supporting beds, and they're so strong. I have a plan for that, but the battening I do might get in the way. So I'm gonna do the battening and then realize that I might have to cut sections of, sections of it out to fit the things I want to fit, such as the bathroom. Because if I do the battening tomorrow, then it will get in the way of the bathroom, but I'll be fine. I can just multi-tool it out of the way to fit the bathroom because I can't start the bathroom because I can't do that till the floor's down. Can't do the floor down till that bit of floor's in. Can't put that bit of floor in until that seat's done. Yeah, you get the picture? So, this video is gonna be just watching me do finish off a bit of this insulation. Um, I've got a bit of roofing batten area to sort out, that back door, and then we might be looking at getting some battens in the van. I might not finish the batten in, I don't know. I just wanna get a video out for you guys on Saturday, because I want to. I just feel like I should for you guys. You guys are loyal support supporters, everyone who's been around for a while. I know you enjoy watching the videos. I enjoy the comments. Please stick some comments down there for me. Tell me things about this build. Tell me what I should be doing, what order I should do things in. What's your opinion about the insulation? And anyone who wants to go off about vapor barriers, go for it. You just might not get a reply from me. <laughs> okay. Here we go, I'm gonna get on with this. Let's do it. So first of all, I'm gonna get some of this excess spray foam cut off and get it out of the way so I can get the tape on and it's not too umpily bumpily. And another thing I forgot to say about not knowing what I'm doing, I, uh, sorry, I don't mean to wave a knife around at you. Um, I was hoping to finish this van. Originally I had a crazy idea about mid-September, but this was back when I was working. Then I realized I was gonna have to put it back into October which then became November, and that's been my date for a long time. I keep People say, when you're leaving, I keep saying mid-November, mid-November. From the recording of this video, that is about five, just over five weeks away. That's not happening. It's not happening. Maybe if I was working full-time every day on this van, it would maybe happen. But you see, that's what I kind of have in my head that would be happening, but it doesn't work like that. Since I've stopped working, I'm only managing to do two, maybe three good days work on this van every week. There's always something else gets in the way. I mean, I need a day and a half to get the YouTube video edited and released and then put my feet up. 
Um, there's days where it absolutely downpours and I can't get on with anything. Or maybe the van's gone away to have some work done it with, on it with James. Either way, I've also got kids, you know, and they home educate, so I take them places. We go to their events and uh, gatherings that they go to. So in the end, I seem to only get two or three good days work on the van and it's just not gonna get us there by November. So I'm admitting defeat. I think I'm gonna say mid-December. It has to be the middle of the month because that's when my rent's due and I'll have to let the estate agent know in the middle of the month that I'm leading, leaving the following month, give them a month's notice. So I think I'm just going to relax a little bit, not stress myself out and the kids um, and just admit it. It's gonna, um, That will give me like eight, nine weeks from now to get it done. That sounds possible, doesn't it? And I'm trying to calm myself down. If it spills over even more, so be it. I don't want to spend the money on the rent, but I also don't want to like affect my own health and sanity and stress the kids out and get upset and angry and <sighs> which is the way I've been feeling the last week. And since I've sort of admitted to myself that it's not going to happen, I've relaxed a little bit more. So anyway, anyway, thanks for the therapy session. <laughs> I'm going to cut some of this off. I'm going to put some music on for you guys while I'm doing this because then I can listen to music down there. All right, let's go for it. There we go, look at my lovely spaceship wall. Isn't it fantastic? I'm happy with that, looks good. Uh, only problem is down here. My electrics. I haven't got a clue where the components, all my lovely blue Victron components are going to be on here. I'm gonna to have to build a piece of wood, a board, and start designing where these components are gonna go. Once again, I don't know what I'm doing. Once I've decided where they're going, then I can decide where the 12 volt needs to be, where the 240 volt needs to be, and where everything basically needs to be, because at the moment, they're all coming out from all over the place. So I feel like I can't insulate this and seal it up until I've fed the wires through to come out where they need to come out. This is another one of those things that I just don't know what I'm doing. But, if I sit down and spend some time on it, I'm sure I can figure it out. Then we've got the other side over here. And this side is a similar story, but not as complicated. So that's obviously the duct for the uh, boiler. That is for a hot and cold water supply to the outside shower. And this is the water inlet. Now I don't want to seal it all up with insulation so I can't access these things to fit my pipes. So part of me is wondering, do I fit these things now, seal it up, and just tuck them out of the way or do I just leave it you know how I like to check things off the list and have the job done and finished well I'd quite like to do that I do have some water pipe coming so I could in theory attach it and then seal up around it I suppose I'll always leave a working area around it anyway hmm lots to think about but for now should we get on with that back door let's do the back door so first of all we've got to get this shredded bottle stuff up and inside some of these pillars as best we can. Now that's normally John's job, but he's not with us today, so I'm gonna to have to try and figure that one out. Oh, and also, I can charge my batteries through my radio, so that's great. So we're all right for camera batteries. So we might time-lapse this a little bit. Should we do it? Hey. 
hello, I cut that a bit short because there wasn't much to see, was there? I'm just shoving stuff into the door cavity. <laughs> I've managed to get it in all and around everywhere. Luckily, there's like little holes where I can see that it's there. I just haven't put it in the bottom yet because I decided to spray some wax oil in the bottom of there, just like I did in all the seams along the bottom there. It never got done in the back door for some reason. So I've done that. That needs to dry before tomorrow, so it'll be a tomorrow job. The power's back. So I am happy. I've got a cup of tea. Uh, although Sue did bring me one from next door. Thank you, Sue. I know you're watching. Um, I'm getting close to packing up time, but I might tinker a little bit tonight with just some little bits of insulation here and there, but it'll be too dark to film. Otherwise, I'm definitely going to see you tomorrow because I'm in the mood. We're going to get some stuff done. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Bye bye. And just like that, it's the next day. Now, do you guys remember when we used to have nice aerial shots and arty shots around the van to tranquil music, just to set the scene for the following day or even establishing shots for the beginning of the video? Who's got time for that at the moment? I promise you, it'll come back in the future. I'll get really into my videos and making them all spectacular looking again. But at the moment, I've just thrown my jacket on, had a cup of tea, straight out the door, click record, let's get to it. Should we do that then? Back to the insulation. fun it was like playing tetris do you remember tetris awesome i should have put the music on the top shouldn't i Ooh. if i did i did and you'll have seen it already um right so as you're well aware it's just old offcuts i had from work so that's the way we're doing it i'll squirt some squirty foam into these gaps it also helps uh, keep it a bit more rigid oh i've got that one to do i'll just do that one bit of squirty foam and then we're going to get the silver tape up and around on this one. And then I'm going to start working on the big slidey door. And I really noticed the difference driving around in the van now. Um, since all this is done, there's no wires rattling around. And it feels a lot more, well, solid and quieter. But I really, really notice a lot of noise, road noise coming from this door. So... It's going to be interesting to see when I get that all filled up and as much insulation as I can get in. Obviously, I want to be careful of all these cables. I don't want to interrupt them too much. Uh, so, yeah. And the other thing we've noticed, with it being so loud, Ella can't hear the music. When we went out for a drive just yesterday, all three of us, uh, Ella's sat in the back here, obviously, in her little seat. So, my wiring isn't finished, is it? What I'm going to do, once there is a bathroom wall here... I'm going to bring some speakers through and set her some speakers there some, somewhere on the wall. Because we also would like to have you know, some little shelves and things and whatnots and I'll figure it out anyway. But she needs her own speakers or she can't hear the music. And Ella, travelling without music, oh, that's a big no, 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 no. Right then, I will uh, foam that door and I'll tape up that door. It's going well. I don't know if we will get to the... Uh, What's it? What's they called? These things, battening. I don't think we'll get to the battening yet on this video, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Because it needs to be released tomorrow, doesn't it? And I've got to edit it yet. Right, as we can see, I've got lots of the shredded bottle stuff in and around all these places. Actually, John did some of this the other day. I've been working on it yesterday. And I am down to my final scraps of this stuff. There's no way I'm going to go and buy a whole other sheet of it. So we're going to make do with what we've got. I just need to fill these gaps in. I would love to put recesses in there. I don't know if you've seen those. People build them. Uh, so you've got your panel that goes over the front, but then you cut a hole in the recess and maybe put like a bit of elastic or a bit of wood across. And you can have like almost like a little spice rack or something up there or whatever, a little hold all thing. This is one of the things that I'm not putting pressure on myself to think about because otherwise we'll never get this van finished. So what I'm thinking is I insulate them up we seal it up, 
have done with it. And that's a project for the future. When I'm out on the road and I've got the time, I'm going to be carrying my tools with me. Just need to go and buy a little piece of plywood and I'll be able to build something like that very easily. And I'll, I'll enjoy it in the future when I have time. Because right now I don't have any time. So for now, boom. Places like that are going to get sealed up because I've earmarked some other places around the van for these little cubby holes as well. It's just a good use of space, but not now. For now, we fill it with what's left of this stuff, okay? Are you guys quite happy just listening to music and watching me get on with my work? Because it's, get, it's allowing me to get loads done, if I'm honest. I've done that back door. Didn't film it. Sorry. The sun was blasting off here. It was too dazzling. So we've done these two back doors. You just watched me do that bit in there. Now we're going to look at this. Here. This here is what we're going to look at. Now, this area in the sliding door is a bit of tricky because of all these cables. It's got cables running everywhere to do with the door opening mechanism, of course. Now, we don't want to disrupt those. So I do have... <laughs> One last piece of Kingspan, which just happened to be a very similar shape. That's going to fit in there. Then what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to use, because I had a load of lifts left over, I'm going to stick this up and in as far as I can and all over the place, and that's going to help loads. And then I might use some of the thinner Kingspan, which I do have some left over, in this area here, because the door actually protrudes this way a bit. Um, and then some more of the shredded bottles around it and that'll do. Now this is one area where I'm not just going to be able to tape it off really, I don't suppose. We're going to cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, also, look up. There, look. When I was doing the ceiling, I didn't finish it, obviously. There's patches left over and I haven't taped it, so that still needs doing. I don't think we're going to get to battening on this video because uh, this is going to keep me going for the rest of the day. S and plus I've got to change a batten at the front. Let me show you. Let me show you. Come here. These roofing battens I have put in, most people would fix a batten onto the metal here. Now that makes perfect sense for people who don't have a sun the height of mine. What I've decided to do is I've fixed the battens onto the side. Now I think I did show you some of this in a previous video, but what it means is when I come to fixing my ceiling up, I'm gaining, well not gaining, I'm just not losing that height. If the baton was on there, I'd already lose that height. And I want to keep as much as I can. Plus the fact that our beds are going to be bunk bed two tier. I'm trying to gain as much height as I possibly can so we can stretch out the space we all share, basically. Anyway, so what I've done is obviously I couldn't get one in here because of the, uh, the fan. So it's gone on this side. No big deal. Uh, it does taper off like this a bit at the edges here, but I'm going to cross that bridge when I come to it. Then I've, of course, fit one up here because the roof will have to go across and fit to there. Only issue is I'm putting a front on here. And if you look there, the front is going to come and touch on this piece of metal here. And it actually interferes with that a little bit annoyingly. So what I'm probably going to have to do is take this one down, fit a different little bit of batten behind it in order to fit my front on this cupboard then that will go on the outside of that front that goes on the cupboard, which then means I'm going to have to start thinking about doing the front of the cupboard, which also then leads on to doing the wood trim that I'm going to build to go down there. Yeah. So that has to come soon because it's another one of those things that we keep finding in the camper van. I can't insulate this piece until that is fixed the way it's going to be. Can't fix the, that until I've got the front on here. So I'm going to have to seriously think about putting the front on this cupboard soon. The only problem is I hadn't planned on carpeting that, but that's the only option I've got at the moment. I'd sort of thought about painting it one of the colours we're going to go for. We actually went to Ikea yesterday and we got the colour for that theme. If anyone who's been around for a while remembers us going to Ikea before, 
we looked at a bedroom there that had a colour scheme that we all liked because we've all got a living here, all three of us. So everyone had to agree and we all agreed we liked that colour scheme. So we went back yesterday to double check some things and we got the actual colour that they use on the walls there. And it's a bit of a salmon colour, which might sound a bit freaky at first, but hopefully it's going to work. And hopefully it's going to tie in with this carpet. We're going to find out though, aren't we? Because we're all going with it. So what it means is I've got to build this wooden like a uh, cupboard front on here and then do I just carpet it or do I have to actually go out and source the paint now and am I actually going to paint that the salmon colour? Everything doesn't have to be salmon, it's absolutely fine. I'm going to build the uh, shower walls out of plywood and they can be painted. Actually we, me and John picked up some wallpaper which we may or may not use for one side, a bit of a feature wall. Um, and a huge percentage of this wall will be the door anyway, which I'll show you at some point. We've got a silver uh, timbre door to go on there. I wish I'd got black now, but it's too late. Don't care. We've got to move forward. Um, there's going to be not... There's quite a few patches of wall. You've got to imagine there'll be cupboards up here. So it's only that little patch down there that would be painted. Yeah? Same in the kitchen. The kitchen here will be <laughs> whatever colour that ends up being, plus a big cupboard above it, and then I'll probably put some sort of splashback, so we won't even see any of that salmon colour there. There'll be the little bit of wall there with Ella's big hatch in the middle. Ella's hatch will have a, a coloured curtain, so there's only a little trim of wall around it which will have the colour, so there's not a huge amount of this salmon colour to go on. Uh, there'll be a little bit of wall up the sides of mine and John's beds at the top here, probably the salmon colour, so it's not going to be in your face the whole van's not going to be this pink salmon thing color so i'm hoping it's going to work i am not an interior designer but uh, we all agreed we liked the color scheme anyway that's a waffle for you again i am going to give you some music to listen to while i figure out this down here Just to interject here guys, on a little bit of a side note, meep, meep. this, as you all well know, is mittens. There she goes. We have a lot of inquiries about mittens and as to whether she's coming with us on this little adventure. Little adventure, big adventure, change of life. And the answer is yes, she will be coming. Now we're not sure yet whether she'll take to being a van cat. So we're going to test the water with her a little bit on a few shorter excursions and if she's fine with it then she'll come with us all down into Spain and everything and stay in the van and I'll make sure there's a little cubby hole sort of area for her and we'll have a litter tray and whatnot um, but otherwise she'll spend a lot of time at grandma's house in France because it'd be nice company for grandma because she's on her own and it, mittens will love it she'll get absolutely pampered won't she she'll be totally taken care of plus grandma's losing her memory a bit so she'll probably forget she's fed the cat and just feed the cat again so mittens will not complain i'm sure um, but with that said we have to get her her health pass in order to get across into europe and the first stage of that we went to the vets the other day me and ella and mittens has not yet had a rabies injection so we're about to put her in a box and take her for that she's going to hate it. Mittens is a very, very loving cat who's always hanging around with us, which is why I think she'll be okay in the van, in van life, because she doesn't like to go wandering and exploring. She just wants to be where we are doing whatever we're doing. But she's not a really cuddly cat that likes to be handled too much. So yeah, we haven't taken her to the vet since we first got her. So let's see if we can get her in the box. So Ella has already been training her up for this. I've she... Done it once, but I know she's going to... Okay. I'm going to put the treats inside the box. In you go, Mitt. Sorry. It is. Didn't say I put them in, don't they? Shove a bum in. 
She, uh oh, oh. <laughs> Al, take the camera. Yeah, uh, yeah. Can you point it down there? I Thank you, Al. I I wasn't the camera. She's in. She's not freaking out. She's still chewing on a treat, she's so that's fine. So now she's going to come for her first ride in the van. Yeah. And she's been in the van loads. We've been slowly getting her used to it over time. You might have noticed we bring her in and have she has treats and she's very comfortable in there. And we just wanted to get her more and more comfortable. But obviously now she's in a box and going to a vet's for an injection. She might be a bit more hesitant yet in the van in the future. So let's see. I won't bring the camera into the vets with me. So uh, we'll see you when we get back and let you know how it goes. You all right? <laughs> That was a success. That was a major success. Oh, sorry about them lights. Let me move somewhere else. That was a success. She did so well. She didn't claw the vet. She didn't freak out. She's had a rabies injection. And then before we leave, we get her, her health pass. Health certificate, I think they called it. Uh, so yeah, that's really, really good. And we let her out in the back of the van and she wandered around. Obviously we gave her loads of treats. So yes, for all those people out there who've been asking in the comments, is Mittens coming with us? Yes, she is. All right, folks, I've run out of time and patience today. So uh, John won't be joining us. He's busy inside doing some cleaning. And that is because we've got some visitors coming this week. Hopefully, they said they are. And we'll be doing a bit of a collab with them next week because they're another YouTube gang. They're a lovely couple from down south who've also been doing a sprinter conversion. Now, I don't know how much they'll let me see or, well, let me show you of the van because on their YouTube, it's still heavily in process, but they've actually finished the van. So their YouTube's lagging behind where they actually are in real life at the moment. Not like me. <laughs> tearing my hair out trying to get a video ready for tomorrow as usual so all that remains to say is thank you so much for watching folks and uh oh massive thank you to all coffee givers and the patreon gang you're amazing and also you guys who do it for free just hit the hit the like hit the subscribe we appreciate you so much you help it you don't know how much it helps and also drop in a comment so let me know what you thought of the video and uh we'll see you next week bye bye <laughs>